Mr. President, First Lady, distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this extraordinary welcome. Thank you so much uh, for inviting Sophie and me and through us all of Canada to join with you on this spectacular morning. Thank you very much. Sophie and I, along with our entire delegation, are honored and touched by your magnificent hospitality and uh, by the reinforcement of just how powerful you are, Mr. President, to organize such a perfect day for us. <laughs> C'est un grand honneur d'être à Washington cette semaine pour discuter de dossiers à la fois importants pour le Canada et pour les États-Unis. Des dossiers comme le changement climatique, pour que nous puissions laisser à nos enfants et nos petits-enfants une planète en santé et plus propre. Des dossiers comme la sécurité et la stabilité mondiale pour ensemble faire de notre monde un endroit plus sûr. Et des dossiers comme les échanges commerciaux afin de continuer de faire croître nos économies pour le bien de la classe moyenne. You may recall that our government was elected on a plan to strengthen the middle class. We have an ambitious innovation agenda as we realize that Revitalizing our economy will require investing in new ideas and new technologies. Our plan will foster emerging industries, create good jobs, and increase our global competitiveness. That was the Canadian plan, and of course, it very much resembles the challenges uh, and the solutions that you've been putting forward here south of the border. A plan to invest in our country and invest in our people. And it's wonderful to see that our American friends and partners share and are working on the exact same objectives. See, as our leading trading partner and closest ally, the relationship between our two countries has always been vital. As an exporting nation, Canada is always eager to work closely to reduce trade barriers between our countries. And speaking of exports, we know with certainty that there's a high demand for Canadian goods down here, a few that come to mind that President Obama just rightly recognized as being extraordinary contributors to the American uh, success story is Jonathan Taves, Keith, Duncan Keith, and Patrick Sharp of the Chicago Blackhawks. We've faced many challenges over the course of our shared history. And while we have agreed on many things and disagreed on a few others, we remain united in a common purpose. Allies, partners, and friends as we tackle the world's great challenges. Whether we're charting a course for environmental protection, making key investments to grow our middle class, or defending the rights of oppressed peoples abroad, Canada and the United States will always collaborate in partnership and good faith. The history may be complex, but the bottom line is clear. There is no relationship in the entire world like the Canada-US relationship. Our great countries have been friends a long time. We grew up together. And like all great, enduring friendships, at our best, we bring out the best in one another. And through it all, our enormous shared accomplishments speak for themselves. Prosperous, free, diverse societies that have shaped history together. We could not be prouder of that past. And on behalf of 36 million Canadians, I thank you all for your warm welcome. Now let's get, get to work on shaping our shared future. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you.